Hey everybody, Dr. Kluska here, bringing you this month's Aesthetic Authority. This month we're speaking about Cyton's Jewel Laser. American-made, hardy laser that has multi-functions, and today we're going to discuss all the little details about this laser. With me I have my partner, Dr. Chad Deal, who is an expert in this laser, and he's going to give us a little bit of background on how this little guy works. Hey, you know, myself and then some of the colleagues that we have, brilliant, brilliant dermatologists and other plastic and cosmetic surgeons, uh, OBGYNs, have all contributed to different uh, facets of this machine. <clears throat> and particularly what we want to talk about is the halo functionality. You know, over the last three, four, gosh, five years, the halo really kind of like was a game changer in the market in so many ways. And Cyton was kind of known for this. They were really the first in the market to bring a lot of things to light. This halo was extraordinary. You know, a lot of us just think about lasers. You think about just the end, laser coming out of it. You can really see here that there is a lot of technology going on in this, including the little integrated uh, suction there, so you only have to have a fan over top. What that really is is several things. After years of studying, we realized that, boy, could we really get this incredible result that you're going to get with these powerful erbiums and CO2s? But at the same time, the downtime was always one week, sometimes up to two, depending on how deep you went, the percentage of the uh, skin that you treated. Well, after years of research, we realized you could combine laser wavelengths. For instance, you can go up to 100 microns uh, treating uh, most of the epidermis, depending on where you're treating the face. Um, you can do that with an, an ablative erbium laser and get all those same critical effects that you're looking for. But you could use a non-ablative, go up to 7 microns deep, this diode wavelength, 1470, and get a lot of that heat energy damage without completely evaporating that tissue and still stimulate all the collagen and all the things that are going to lead to thicker skin, wrinkles being gone, the reds and the browns, overall skin rejuvenation that you get with these powerful CO2s and erbiums. So you understand we can get these results that we have for years. These lasers have been around with the CO2s and erbiums, but we had to deal with extraordinary long downtimes, much higher risk of hyperpigmentation, and in terrible cases, hypopigmentation, scarring, and all the things prolonged everything that go along with it. Now, if you combine both wavelengths, you get the best of both worlds. Very close to the same results you get with those powerful lasers, but in many cases, the patient could have makeup on within a day or two or three. So what do we have? We have both those wavelengths, the erbium and the diode, built into this being fired simultaneously the first time that was ever done. Further research showed that the temperature of the skin affected how the depth and power of the treatment, how much heat damage there was. So this was the first to incorporate what's called DTO, Dynamic Thermal Optimization Technology. As you roll it across the patient's skin, all right, this doesn't have the little tip on it, but as you roll it across the patient's skin, it actually will instantly detect the, the temperature of the skin and adjust the power, okay, of the laser. That's never been done before. And so if you think about it, you know, like if you have someone room temperature or maybe a Zimmer chiller, for instance, on the skin, you're not getting a consistent treatment because the skin temperature is changing up and down. Further, what about the bad patterns that you get with lasers, right? You see that stamp pattern. Well, if you lay down not just in a regular pattern, but in a regularly irregular pattern, you truly get have more of a snowstorm effect and not get those patches or the makeup line of the lasers. So they built in optical navigation as well. First laser with optical navigation. First laser with DTO. First laser with dual wavelengths. And at the same time, integrating to be able to bring out the smoke. I'm in a lot of tech packed into one laser, all brand new to the industry. And a lot of companies end up playing catch up to this. So this is what made this so extraordinary. And now a lot of companies are basically looking for that halo S result. And why do they say that? Because they're comparing it to what a lot of you think is a gold standard in the industry, which is now the halo. Very cool technology, which in the end of the day, what does it mean to the patient? It means you're gonna get incredible results done more in a med spa setting without an operating room. It can be done comfortably, simply with things like Zimmer chillers, things like the Prognox, okay? And be able to deliver results where the patient can have makeup on in a couple of days. So really cool, there's a big world of tech out there, but this is what this device is all about. Dr. Deal, thank you for going over such an incredible technology. This product, again, no line of demarcation, can be done under local anesthetic in a med spa setting much different than using a CO2, which gets very similar results to this uh, with much less downtime. Thanks for joining us on Aesthetic Authority. We'll see you next month with another technology.